It's good to see everyone is wanting to quit smoking. I hope that at this point you have all reached your dates and are doing well. Today we are going to spend time to discuss how to cope with the urge to smoke. The agenda will consist of common triggers, ways to cope, what to do if you slip, and next steps. Coping with the urge to smoke. Let's start by briefly discussing the urge to smoke. The last time we met, we talked about all the advantages of quitting. These were substantial health and economic reasons to quit, which are obviously good, but there is still an urge to smoke. Let's explore that. What makes you want to smoke? Are there certain times of the day that are hardest for you? How have you changed your routine and lifestyle to make quitting easier? Always remember that you may be eligible for a variety of stop smoking treatments under the current smoking sensation benefits. Talk to your doctor to see what's right for you. Common triggers. As we discussed in the first meeting, nicotine is one of the major reasons that quitting smoking is so hard. Even after withdrawal symptoms stop, you may still have the urge to smoke. Fortunately, an urge to smoke usually doesn't last long, but if you give in to it, you can end up going back to smoking and not meeting your goal of quitting. Some things that may trigger the desire to smoke and that should be avoided are being around smokers and smoking, certain situations or people, alcohol or coffee, sweet or spicy food, stress. If you find that any of these things make you want to smoke, try to replace them with other things. You may not be able to get rid of all the stress in your life, but you can learn new ways to deal with it. Ways to cope. There are many things you can do that may help you cope. If you feel like you want to smoke, after the launch of this lesson, go through that 31 things to do instead of smoke calendar. It has many suggestions. Refer to it often and try several of the suggestions until you can first Find someone that works for you. Call someone for support. You could call a friend or family member. You can always call your state quit line. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW to be directed to your state quit line. The quit line offers counseling and support. Do something new or enjoyable. Exercise to reduce urges and weight gain. Relax with music or meditation. Use substitutes like water or gum. Look at 31 Things Calendar. Look your personal progress tracker. Remind yourself why you want to quit. Studies show that exercise can help the stop to urge to smoke. Urges are reduced during and after exercise. A 15 minute brisk walk can reduce urges for up to 50 minutes, even if you are faced with a trigger like a lit cigarette. Additionally, exercise can help you avoid unwanted weight gain as your metabolism changes. Urges may last a short time. If you find yourself eating more as a substitute for smoking, exercise may be a way to distract yourselves until the urge to smoke passes. You will also find in the slides a copy of the personal progress tracker form that you can make a copy of, or if you'd like to, you can contact me at my email address, Sherry Stottinger at SpokaneFalls.edu. For the average smoker, it takes six to nine lifetime quit attempts to quit smoking cigarettes. Few people never slip at all. It is common to miss the habit of smoking when you are trying to quit. Smoking was a part of your life and routine, and now you need to make adjustments to change that. You may think you can have just one cigarette, but even one puff will make it harder in the long run. If you have a cigarette, stop smoking again right away. Use your personal progress tracker. Write down what made you slip so you can try to avoid it next time and what you could have done differently. Recommit to quit. Reward yourself after you quit again. List ways to help motivate as you continue on that path to quit smoking.